Kriwa Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Where Alina's manufacturer, Riacob, is diversifying its product range, which will enable the company to enter new markets, such as the earth moving and agriculture, and expand their operations locally and internationally. Maulane Arnaldi tells us more. Riacob General Manager Sia Sirt says the company is working to diversify its product portfolio by introducing new materials, such as rubber and ceramics, to manufacture its wear liners, other than its signature chromium carbide wear liners used in the mining industry. Riocorp traditionally um, has been a supplier of manufacturer and supplier of chromium carbide um, long life wear liners. Uh, we in the wear solutions industry where we want to supply wear solutions to uh, processing plants. Um, and what we have learned is that there's various materials that, that can be used in various applications in the plant. Um, so we want to uh, diversify our products to, to cater for, to have the right material for the right application in the plant. Um, in, in coal plants, for instance, uh, ceramics is a very good material. Uh, in certain in instances, polyurethane uh, is better than chromium carbide. And in some instances, quench and tempered steel is sufficient for the use um, as a wear material. So, Riocarp wants to uh, supply a total wear solution package to the industry. Um, and, we, and we want to make all, different mater all the various materials as part of our products that we supply to the processing plants. Realcarb is also in the early stages of planning and developing technologies to enhance its service offering and support product features. Using technologies such as big data can allow for predictive maintenance on site and it facilitates accurate estimates of product or equipment life in processing plants. We are looking to, to supply a, a service to mines rather than just being a supplier. So we are doing uh, over inspections on our products on the mine. Uh, we are developing an online monitoring system for, for our liners uh, that will be available early next year. It's still in early development. Um, where we can online monitor the wear of liners, we can then accurately predict the life of a liner and we can then be in a position to schedule change out um, in a predictive way. Um, so you can um, arrange your spare parts early uh, uh, and you can know exactly what do you need to do on shutdown. So it's a, it's a way that we want to quantify exactly what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, and to be in a more predictable uh, position to predict where in a plant. Realcob anticipates to develop a smart liner that uses ultrasonic thickness testing technology, which allows real-time online monitoring while a plant is operating. A smart liner can gather and compile specific information on where per ton every hour, which will ultimately ensure ease of maintenance and replacement planning. Other news making headlines. Repackaged technology to serve local minerals market well. The repackaging of established technology to process mined minerals is set to serve the local market well. The reflux classifies innovative new technology um, for separating fine materials based on gravity. It's a combination of three existing technologies, uh, being a lamella settler, Nortondra's dense medium separator and the fertilized bed. It's generally used in uh, applications where the um, feed sizing is less than two millimetres. In any application where there is a gravity differential or SG differential between the product and the uh, gang material. Mintech is a um, well-established laboratory in Southern Africa and they're very proficient in running these test work and uh, from that viewpoint uh, we've chosen them as our, our partner. In m most applications and we've not come across any uh, applications where it hasn't outperformed in uh, grade and recovery. So it will give you uh, a better recovery at a, b a higher grade. And that's um, in all applications that's been currently used commercially. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.